right, it is time to look at the currently reading challenge wrap up <laughs> and reflection. Hey everyone, it is Shannon and I'm super excited to be here today and to share with you this video. This is going to be me looking back at the May 2023 currently reading challenge. We're going to look at some numbers, we're going to look at some titles, and I'm going to share some thoughts and insights as I reflect back on the project as a whole or the challenge as a whole. This is the third time that I have done this in May and the fourth time I have done an edition of currently reading challenge overall. Um, and the inspiration was back in 2021 when I realized that my currently reading was nearing 40 titles. I like having a lot on my currently reading. My goal, my dream is 20 and I have like a specific kind of 20, you know, three of these and two of those and four of those that I think would work perfectly. I'm working on that. But um, uh, back in 2021, I was like, wow, because originally I think I had normally carried over about 10 titles a month and then it had sort of been like 15 and then 20 and then 25, 29. When it was getting close to 40, I knew I needed to do something. So what I did is I put all of the titles I was reading into two jars. I had a jar for fiction and a jar for nonfiction. And each week I pick five titles, three fiction and two nonfiction. And that's what I read for the week. Um, and for each round of the challenge, I've had a different amount of pages I was looking for um, as a grand total or a week. And um, then I split that out into weekly. So what I was going for in May this year, 2023, was I wanted to reduce the number of my currently reading by a thousand pages over the four weeks. And that worked out to 25 pages a week or 50 pages a day over five days. This is the lowest target that I have aimed for, um, but I did know that I hadn't been doing a lot of as much reading and also I really wanted to get back into uh, making videos which I hadn't done so much this year and so I just wanted like an easy entry you know just a low rise goal um, and so I aimed lower than I normally did with a thousand pages a thousand pages over a month is still a significant reduction um, so it felt like what would be good to go with so how did it turn out well from the TBR jars in week one I read 311 pages I was aiming for 250 so 250 a week week one I got 311 pages read week two I got 358 pages read week three I got 405 pages read and in week four I got 311 pages read so that you know, that seems pretty good to me. Every week I did exceed my goal of 250 pages. And over those four weeks, the titles from my TBR jars, the amount of pages I read from them ended up being 1,385 pages. So I am really, really happy with how that went because that is a huge page reduction. And then if you add to that, I also read... I read a bit on the sly on other titles that I was currently reading. I especially did this for times when I finished a title on my currently reading or if I wanted to continue on something I had read the week before that I was really enjoying. I always, when, when I read more from other currently reading titles, it was always after I hit my page count for 50 from the TBR jars. That was always the priority is 50 pages from those titles. After that free reign, free reading period, I can read what I want. Um, so in addition to the 1,385 pages I read from the TBR jars in the four weeks, I also read an additional 692 pages from my currently reading that was not from the TBR jars. So that grand total ends up being 2,077 pages off of my currently reading. I am so happy with that. It really, I think the first time I did aim for 2000 and I got it, but it was really tough. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think, I think I did in 2021. I'm not sure, but I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. And then I also did um, have some, I had one format switch. I did switch one physical book to an audiobook. So I did switch, oh, reading. 
We Were Dreamers by Simu Liu. I switched that to audio, so I listened to about four hours of audio, and I did also, because I always tend to see have something that's not quite a book, I did also watch three episodes of TV, because that ended up getting drawn from the jars. So 2,077 pages, four hours of audio, three hours of TV, or three episodes of TV, they're about three hours. I'm just really, 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 really happy about that. Um, and so overall, at the beginning of May 2023, I had 7,762 pages on my currently reading. And when it became June, I had 5,198 pages on my currently reading. So for the math fans out there, you may notice that doesn't quite work out. There are a couple of reasons for that. One, the format change I made, I zeroed out all of the pages from here because I switched to audio. I had one that I switched from physical to digital. And then it took me a long time to figure it out. But there were also, there were two titles that didn't make it into the jars that I didn't include in the tally. Um, and that is because they were, I had one manga and one comic bind up that I was working on. And I just, I just, I finished them in the first week of the month and I didn't include them in the challenge because I knew I was going to finish them. So it took me a while to find those pages. It was about 500 pages and I was just, I was just like why can't I what, like what could this be and eventually eventually I figured it out but um yeah because I don't always have I don't often have carryover month to month for visual works and manga I usually finish it before but I didn't <laughs> that time I did it so I didn't finish those uh when May started, so I included them. But I mean, even just if you look at the number change, like 7,700 to like 5,200, that is, that's a lot of pages read. And I reduced the number of titles on my currently reading from 32 to 22. I believe that's what it ended up being. Was I supposed to wait to do that? Yes, 32. I finished 10, so I got down to 22, and I didn't start anything new to carry over into the month of June. So I'm very happy with that as well. So now let's take a look at what I actually did finish reading. First of all, I'm just going to share the, the manga and the comics bind up because they ended up being part of the tally but never but they didn't come up in the jars so i did finish a volume of usagi yohimbo i read um volume 15 fox hunt and uh, this is written and illustrated and created by stan sakai and i'm really enjoying the series i'm continuing the series it's great and then i also finished a volume of hard-boiled cop and dolphin it was volume two that was the carryover from month to uh, month to month and i did finish the series i can't remember now if i finished it in may but it was sort of my go-to manga series during the currently reading challenge i brought it with me into may and i think i finished it before june so those are the two mystery titles. <laughs> but now onto the TBR jar polls and we're going to go with the least amount of pages read to the most amount of pages read for the titles that I finished. I completely finished. And that includes the Highlander's Dark Seduction by Joanne Rock. This I read 59 pages from. It was the second in a two-part series of The Secrets of the Darrock Clan. So finished a series if you cannot tell. It is historical romance. So yeah, 59 pages from that. 59 pages from The Demon Soul. This is a Warcraft book, War of the Ancients by Richard A. Knack. It's really odd that it also had 59 pages. I was really thrilled to get this uh, one picked because I was very close to the end. It's a fantasy uh, series. It's the second in the series. I still haven't started the third. I'm a little... I'm a little, I just, I, I want to finish it, but I'm also nervous about starting new things. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really enjoyed this series, and I really would like to finish this series by the end of the year. Um, but I, in, the, in May, I read 59 pages and finished off this title. Yay! I also read 59 pages from Benicula Strikes Again by... James Howe. Uh, this is a kids illustrated work. Um, I'm actually really, this is, I was really surprised that I carried this forward, I think for two months, <laughs> but I was thrilled it got picked because it was an easy finish and sometimes it's nice to have easy finishes in there. So 59 pages from that. Then I read 85 pages from The Prose Edda by Stories 
Snorri Sturluson. This is one that I'm really surprised that I ended up finishing. Uh, it's a very hefty 85 pages, uh, impacted by the Kindle squ swi squish. Um, definitely was probably closer to like 130 pages, but I was very determined to finish it. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Um, it's sort of a combination of Norse history and Norse mythology, um, and um, but I do want to read more work about it and understand sort of the greater picture more um, and but I did finish it and so I'm, I'm happy about that. Next up Nancy Drew the Curse. I read 109 pages from this. This is by Michal Oslo. This never got picked from the jars. I think I read it a little bit throughout the month as an extra and then I finished it I think in the last week of the month in the last week of May which was just a couple days like it was yeah so there were four days that were after the four weeks um and this one I, I will say I didn't love it th that much it was a quite an easy read it's sort of like a YA mystery it's supposed to be a tie-in with the tv series I'm actually currently watching season four of the tv series and I'm not feeling like it there's there's it says a prequel to the hit show I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not, this, I didn't, I am enjoying season four a lot, um, but I thought that this was rather, um, it was fine. It was good for what I needed at the time, and I did start it, I think, last year after the Currently Reading Challenge finished up, thinking it would be a swift finish. <laughs> not so much, but I did finish it. Never got picked, but I still finished it. Then I read 212 pages from A Wicked Game, which I actually have the physical edition for, by Kate Bateman. This is a, another historical romance. So I did pretty well with the romance picks. Um, and uh, this is, uh, I read, I started reading it for the Who Picked This Book book club, but I didn't finish it in time for the live show. But now I have since finished it. Yay, go me! So this is about two people who are, uh, their families are sort of have a rivalry and there is a bit of a bet going on and um yeah it was quite good it was quite enjoyable um and uh it was the third in the series but often with romance series it doesn't matter and it didn't really matter too much in that one and I think I can't remember if that got picked two weeks in a well in a row but 212 pages from one title is is a, a lot a lot to get through but it's not the most I read 236 pages from Wild Wolf Claiming by Rhiannon Bird. This again was another title. This is a paranormal romance. So is that the third? Yeah, that's three, three romances I finished in May. Go me. Um, and I'm also considering this a series complete. Um, there is another title, but it's sort of, um, I was, I would, it sort of feels like it's the, uh, I'll just say I'm happy to complete the series with this one um, and the other one sort of feels like a concurrent story to this one and so um, but I was I'm fine with being being okay with the series here I also do have this physically I forgot to pull it um, but so that was also a physical edition that I finished so I was happy about that I had started it earlier this year and it's a series that I had started like way back in like 2014 2015 um, and then I read or I didn't read but the last so 236 pages is the most I read from a work that I completed in terms of finishes, but I also did finish True Blood season two. Yay! I had three episodes to go and it had just taken me forever to get back to this. I included it on the currently reading because I want to get back to reading the series, but I like to watch the season before reading the series. That being said, I think I'm more likely to continue and finish off the entire TV series and then come back to the books. I think that's what probably I will end up doing. So that those are my 10 finishes. I am really, really happy about that. So I went from 32 to 22. I also made progress on 13 titles, which is a, a really, really good um, number. Usually I make progress on about six titles month to month that I don't finish. So there are 13 titles that I read from and now have less to read from. And I only had no change, no, no, no picks, no, no on the slide picks. Um, I had nine titles that there was no change at all. Um, and that also is a good number because usually I have more than 10 that have no change at all. So my focus for the month was 
was to read from the currently reading and to not start other stuff. So that was, you know, that that was sort of like, although like I'm like, yay, that's so much more. It's like, well, that was also my focus for the month. So finished 10, made progress on 13 and had no change for nine. So that's definitely good numbers. For me, it's usually closer to finishing about four to five making progress on about six and not making any progress on about 10 to 15. So going in the right direction, I'm really happy about that. One of the very strange things I will say that you may or may not have picked up on in terms of some of these choices is that I didn't have any nonfiction finishes. Not one. Um, so that's really strange to me um, because I picked, you know, three fiction and two nonfiction every week. That being said, <laughs> We Were Dreamers got picked three out of the four weeks, which is very unusual, but it happened. So, yeah, and I did read about half of it on audio, four hours, which for me is a is a pretty impressive amount of audio. I will admit I haven't come back to it much since then. I'm still not that great on listening to audiobooks. I tried many things throughout the challenge when it got picked. Um, I just, I haven't, I just, I just, it's, I haven't found something to have it be a consistent part of my schedule routine habits. So, and I've tried lots of the regular things. So uh, I'm not worrying about it too much. It usually takes me about six months to listen to an audiobook. I'm well ahead of schedule for that. So yeah, but so like, where do we go from here? <sighs> it's, I don't know, like in some ways I just want to like celebrate the wins and leave it at that. And, and that is part of the challenge. I do feel like it went pretty well overall. I think like having a low, uh, a low number, lower number to go with was a good way to go. I haven't been reading as much generally. And since the currently reading challenge summed up, I haven't, still haven't been reading as much. Um, I think it's just sort of summer energy. Um, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I do, I do want to finish everything that was on my currently reading as of May 1st. I do want to finish that by the end of October, which is um, Halloween, and it's when I consider my goals, uh, it's my aim for having my goals finished by the end of the year, because I don't like having to work on goals in November and December. Mm -hmm. So I still have, I guess, 22 titles. I think I've finished two more since then. So is that 20 titles? Oh, I thought it was closer to 15. I don't know. That was weird. I should have brought that... I should have, well, it went from, yeah, I think I went from 32 to 22, and I think I finished two. So that's 20 titles to finish by the end of October, which is still a fair amount to do, and some of those are kind of hefty, and some of those are kind of like both physically heavy or thematically heavy or, you know, conceptually heavy, um, and some of them are, are less so. So I think my general pace has been sort of like to have a combination of things on the go and also just be a little careful on what I start um, and not starting too much. Um, I really am wanting to work towards having my sort of like ideal set of 20 titles on my currently reading up to 20 titles on my currently reading and that's sort of the um, the carrot, if you will, um, for me in terms of the drive to get those in particular, that particular 20 done. Some of which I've been, I mean, there's only a few, there's about four that are from like a long time ago. And then the remainder is sort of like half from this year starts and half from last year. But there are about four that I've been, I've been carrying around a while and it would be good to be done with them. And I really, it's kind of funny because I really want to work with this concept of 20 specific titles to work with or 20 sort of groupings that I want to work with. It's actually about six groupings over 20 titles that I, I should probably do a video about at some point. Um, but what's I think what's kind of hilarious about that is that if I do finish everything, these the 20 that I haven't finished yet by Halloween, and then I do stay on track with my ideal 20, then I am not going to need to do the challenge next year, which is kind of funny. <laughs> because it's been such a staple on the channel. But that being said, I really do want to try out this this idea of these 20 titles to work with 
you know, 20 categories, you know, and, um, but I think it would be really funny if the goal is to not have to do the challenge anymore. Of course, I could still do it. I could still do it with whatever 20 I'm working with. There's no, there's no problem with that. But I think the goal is to not need to do the challenge. <laughs> and I think that that's fine. And I think I was a little less enthusiastic about it this time around. And so I think that that means that there's just something new coming, right? Like I think there are cycles of things and this was very helpful and has been very helpful. And I think I'm really getting close to nearing the end of having that much carried with me and then be on to new choices uh, that might be better choices in the future. And as someone who's not really a DNFer, it's it's good to have a system that, that works with my reading style. And so I feel like this has been really good for that. Um, and so yeah, so I'm going to work with getting those 20 done and getting a new, more refreshed, more circular 20 that I started to finish a lot sooner, a lot quicker. Um, it's not necessarily about the speed, but I just, it would be better for it not to be like four years <laughs> for some titles. Some titles, it's fine. Um, and overall, I have really reduced the titles, the number of pages and titles over the years. In 2021, I had 38 titles and 11,000 pages. And then last year and this year, I had 31 to 32 titles and about 7,500, 7,700 pages. So I didn't, like last year and this year, we're very close to each other, which is a bit surprising. But I think, I think we're getting close to the end of the challenge, which is really a bit strange. But I don't know, maybe in May, it'll be same same bat channel same bat time i or or maybe not i don't know but i think it might be time to try something new um and i think this has really worked with me so far and i might need to do another round of it in september october to actually hit my goal who knows but for now i'm very happy with the um the success 10 titles 2000 pages that's a really, really good result for one month's work and uh, work one month's effort. And um, I'm really happy with it. So there you go. Um, if you did the currently reading challenge yourself, let me know what your goal was and what your result was and um, or one or the other or both. And, um, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching the videos throughout the month of May and now <laughs> into June. <laughs> and hopefully something new is on the horizon. We shall see. Not there yet, but we shall see. Thank you so much for watching.